Good afternoon. The lunchtime news wrap starts with the news that it's out with the red and in with the purple. That's if a new breakaway group from the EFF could have it their way, called the New Economic Freedom Fighters. They addressed the media this morning and accused leader Julius Malema of wanting to hijack the EFF. The new group says it was never about a personal fight against President Jacob Zuma or Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa. And they say they also don't want to disrupt the president when he delivers the State of the Nation address on Thursday night. We'll have to wait and see for that one. The Joburg High Court sitting in the Palm Ridge Magistrates Court has heard the first testimony from the state witness in the case of sexual abuse against former Grand Slam doubles champ Bob Hewitt. Teresa Tolkien has told of how she doubted whether the world would have believed her if she said in the 80s that she was assaulted by Hewitt while in Sun City. He was coaching her at that time. 75-year-old Hewitt is denying the allegations against him. Another week, another story surrounding Zimbabwe's President Robert Mugabe. Our government says that he was very professional when he chaired the African Unit two-day summit this last week. He was elected unanimously as the new chairperson for 2015. And now the stories from Zimbabwe itself is that the 90-year-old Mugabe has suspended up to 27 members of his presidential security guard for the mishap last week when Mugabe fell on the red carpet in full glare of the world's media. His government said at that stage that there was a hump in the red carpet and that anyone would have fallen over it. Those photos of Mugabe tripping and falling of course made world headlines and it seems as if the president was not going to leave it there. Join me again tomorrow afternoon.